Hello everyone! Welcome back to Knowledge Heals, your go-to channel for mastering mathematics in the most fun and engaging way possible. Today, we're diving into a powerful and fascinating concept from the NCERT class 11 syllabus, the principle of mathematical induction. Have you ever wondered how mathematicians prove statements that are true for all natural numbers? Well, that's where the principle of mathematical induction comes into play. It's like a magical tool that helps us prove these statements step by step. Let's break it down together. Imagine you have a line of dominoes standing in a row. If you knock over the first one, what happens? They all fall one by one, right? Mathematical induction works in a similar way. We need to prove two things to make sure all our mathematical dominoes fall. One, base case. We start by proving the statement for the first domino, usually when n is equal to one. Two, inductive step. Then we assume the statement is true for some domino k and use this assumption to prove that it must also be true for the next domino, k plus one. Let's see how this works with an example. We want to prove that the sum of the first n natural numbers is n into n plus one divided by two. First, we check the base case for n n is equal to one. One is equal to one into one plus one divided by two, which is equal to one. It works. Our first domino falls. Let's go for inductive step example. Now, let's assume that the statement is true for some k. This means one plus two plus three plus till k, which is equal to k into k plus one divided by two. Next, we need to prove it's true for k plus one. So we add k plus one to both sides of our assumption. One plus two plus three plus till k plus k plus one, which is equal to k into k plus one divided by two plus k plus one. Let's simplify the right hand side. k into k plus one divided by two plus two into k plus one divided by two, which is equal to k into k plus one plus two into k plus one divided by two, which is equal to k plus one into k plus two divided by two. And there we have it. We've shown that if the statement is true for k, it's also true for k plus one. All our dominoes fall. Let's practice a few more examples together to solidify our understanding. We'll look at the sum of squares and cubes of natural numbers. Remember, the steps are always the same. Prove the base case, then the inductive step. To prove the sum of the first n squares is n into n plus one into two n plus one divided by six, one. Base case. For n equal to one, one square is equal to one into one plus one into two into one plus one divided by six, which is equal to one. Two, inductive step, assume it's true for n equal to k. One square plus two square plus plus k square is equal to k into k plus one into two k plus one divided by six. Now prove for k plus one, one square plus two square plus plus k squared till k plus one, square equal to k into k plus one, into two k plus one slash six plus k plus one, two. Let's simplify. Equal sign, k into k plus one, into two k plus one, plus six into k plus one, into two, divided by six, which is equal to k plus one, into k into two k plus one, plus six into k plus one, divided by six, which is equal to k plus one into k plus two, into two k plus three, divided by six. We've proved it again. Now let's prove the sum of the first n cubes is n into n plus one, divided by two, square where first is base case. For n equal to one, one cube equal to one i n two, one plus one, divided by two, the whole square equal to one. Second is inductive step. Assume it's true for n z equal to k, one cube plus two cube plus, till k cube, which is equal to k into k plus one, divided by two, the whole square. Now prove for k plus one, one cube plus two cube plus, plus k cube plus k plus one, whole cube equal to k into k plus one, divided by two, whole square plus k plus one, whole cube. Let's simplify, equal to k into k plus one divided by two, whole square plus k plus one, whole cube, which is equal to k into k plus one divided by two plus k plus one, 
whole square, which is equal to k into k plus one plus two into k plus one divided by two whole square, which is equal to k plus one into k plus two divided by two whole square. And there we have it. Let's do another interesting example to show the power of induction. We want to prove that five raised to n, one is divisible by four for all in an n. First case is base case. For n equal to one, five raised to one minus one is equal to four, which is clearly divisible by four. Second case is inductive step. Assume it's true for n equal to k, so five raised to k minus one is divisible by four. We need to prove it for k plus one. Five raised to k plus one minus one, which is equal to five multiplied by five raised to k minus one. Now we are adding minus five, so it becomes five multiplied by five raised to k minus five plus four equal to five into five raised to k minus one plus four. Since five raised to k minus one is divisible by four, five into five k minus one into five, five raised to k minus one into five into five k minus one is also divisible by four and adding four keeps it divisible by four. Wait, isn't that amazing? With the principle of mathematical induction, we can prove so many mathematical statements. I encourage you to practice more problems and see how powerful this tool is. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Knowledge Heals for more engaging math content. Keep learning, keep growing, and remember, Knowledge Heals. See you in the next video. Bye.